Has the market gotten a little ahead of itself, do you think? I do think it has, Paul. I mean, if you think about uh, the market interpretation of what the Fed was trying to tell us, it's been very, very one way, meaning that the market is clearly now, as you're saying, latching on to every indicator that suggests that we will have a soft landing. But there's still a number of risks to the dual mandate. There are both risks to inflation. There's also risks to growth. Most importantly, we're beginning to see now a nation recovery in the housing market. Remember, housing makes up 40% of the CPI, and Kay Schiller earlier this week is now up 5% year over year. And over time, if we do get another boom in the housing market, if rates are going down, if the stock market continues to go up, if credit spreads are tightening, if mortgage rates continue to decline, mortgage rates now are at the lowest level since May, if that creates a boom in housing, that will certainly also create a boom in inflation. So it is just premature to come to the conclusion that we can declare victory over inflation here. Well, Torsten, it's interesting to hear you talk about potentially upside risks to inflation, because I feel like after the last few prints that we have seen, and when you look at, you know, what people PCE deflator, the Fed's preferred gauge, has done over the course of, of several months when you average it out. People were actually talking about whether the Fed could end up undershooting the 2% target. You don't think there's a real risk of that? Yeah, that's a good point, Kaylee. But I still think that the, the market is too focused suddenly on three-month changes, uh, four-month changes, two-month changes in inflation. Mm -hmm. Let's look at inflation the way that the Fed looks at inflation, namely the 12-month change. Ask the same people what they would have said like six months ago when the three months change was a lot higher than what it is today. It really is cherry picking to just look at two, three, four months changes, or even six months changes in inflation. You have to look at the big picture and a lot of the inflation indicators that the Fed creates, including at the Cleveland Fed, they still show that we are not out of the woods. Just look at core CPI. It is at 4.0, mm -hmm. and 4.0 is not two. So given four is not yeah. two, that basically brings you to the conclusion that yes, works. it's moving in the right direction, but it is absolutely the case that it is just premature. And I think that's also what several FOMC members subsequently have come out and said, it's premature to say that we can declare victory over inflation here.